going to be looking at Smooth by Carlos Santana. I'm going to be taking his melody at the intro of the song, and we're going to go behind the scenes and analyze what he's doing. And here's the melody riff. Sounds like this. So you can hear a lot more notes than just a typical rock and blues scale. So he's using A natural minor. The chords are A minor, F, E7 for the opening part. So we are in a natural minor of A minor. The E7 is the cool chord we're gonna be talking about today. And that chord is using a particular note, G sharp in it, which we want to use in the pattern of the melody that he's playing. When the E7 chord comes, he switches to that G sharp which is automatically in the chord, and that is where we get this harmonic minor scale from. A harmonic minor, you raise the seventh tone in comparison to a natural A minor. So a natural A minor is just gonna be... Okay, now you raise that seventh tone, and you can hear it immediately, you go, that's Santana's smooth song. So, I'm gonna go at it slow, here it starts with that little triangle area of like the rock and blues. You're going to be using extra notes, which comes from the natural minor. There's that G sharp. I'll do it again. Here's the G sharp, the raised seventh tone. A little half bend. Then he comes down into the blues, minor pentatonic, bends up the third string, a little pull off. And there he does that G sharp again because the E7 chord is sitting there. Or you could stay on the third string, which has different string tone than coming to the fourth string. So that's why you want to do that. And I talked about string tone a lot. So, But this is the, the cool thing about understanding the chords that are underlying and our basis for what we are playing on top. So I'm gonna be talking more and more about chords because chords are our base and it gives us all of our options and scale choices to play on top. So have fun with Smooth this week and I'll see you next time.